network automation doesn't stop just within your on-premise facility. I mean, network automation really became a thing because the cloud automated how we do everything. All of those technologies that are used to automatically spin up your networks in the cloud have now extended down to our on-premise facilities. So how can we leverage the cloud for our own capabilities? I'm going to tap one of my good friends and co-workers, Cloud Bart, who's going to help us extend our on-premise capabilities into AWS. Let's go. What's up, man? Oh, not much. Let's see. Yes, we did. <laughs> it's a good day. It's a good day to celebrate. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Are you sharing your camera right now then too? No. No, I, I can't because it's recording. My ca I can't record my camera and stream it to Google Meets at the same time. So I'm just recording it on my side. Oh, well, that's what I'm doing right now. I can show you later if you want to check it out. Yeah, maybe I'll have to do that. I know it might, it's something with a cam link, so I can do it, but it distorts mm -hmm. all the colors when I do that. So that's why I'm oh, weird. Gonna... Yeah, I'm using, uh, what's the filter called here? What do they call it? Oh, virtual cam. It's a plugin that I was using. Oh, okay. And it lets you take, so like I'm, I'm, you're watching me, right? And you can still see it, but I'm also recording that camera too at the same time. Oh, okay. That's neat. Yeah, it works all right. I wonder if that's something I can do. I don't know. You do have to download it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just You should totally get it hooked up because it's pretty sweet. Yeah, no, I, I will definitely <clears throat> do that because that would be useful to be able to use this camera in more than one place. But I am recording it right now, so you will be able to see my face when this video goes live. So <laughs> it will, awesome. will mesh awesome. it all together. Okay, so um, right. scenario, right? Uh, I, I know my own shortcomings pretty well. And one of those shortcomings is that I just don't know much about AWS. But this, this advent of network automation, uh, well, it's really cool, right? Now we can get data off of these network devices or like set up triggers. So when an event happens in a network area, like a link gets you know, cut or the internet goes down or something, it, it can trigger a post. Um, and I think it would be really cool if we could like ingest that data into AWS and turn that into like a dashboard or, you know, persist it to SQL okay, okay. or stream. I, what do you think? Is that, is it doable? Yeah, that sounds super doable. Um, so this thing does uh, an HTTP post to some sort of endpoint and it'll deliver us some sort of payload then? Yep, yep. Um, and I have like, so I'm thinking one of the easiest ways that we could check this out is with Cisco Meraki. Um, so like with Meraki, you just set up alerts. They're checkboxes. It's really easy. So like when the uplink uh, goes down or a VPN uh, site to site starts flapping. Um, we can just oh. check off that box and be like, hey, monitor this. And then um, we can set up a uh, web hook. So we specify the HTTP endpoint and a shared secret. I think that's the big key where this comes okay. in is we, we set up the shared secret. And it puts that secret in the payload. It's not a request parameter or a header. It's actually a key in the JSON payload. It's called shared secret. So okay, so this was Meraki webhooks. Is that what you said? Said yeah, yeah, Meraki webhooks, and I can um, I'll put a link okay. uh, so that we know like what a sample payload looks like. It's all documented on Postman's website. Um, Postman actually has every single sample payload, and they're all almost identical. They're very small payloads. Um, and sweet, no, I found it here. I think so. The, the, the... oh, sweet, yeah. I mean, it's yeah, it's like Postman. one of the first links that comes up is you just like you can Google like Postman Meraki webhook, and it it comes up and it's super, super cool. So sweet. So yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I think I, at this point, like I could, we could hand the development effort off to you and you could be like, here's the solution where we can ingest data. And then once you've got that, you pass it back to me and I'll develop something and then we could get together and test it out. Yeah, dude, that sounds super great. Um, yeah, totally. Um, so uh, in order for me to consume it, um, I did a little digging around on EventBridge the other day. I was hoping that um, uh, for a scenario was exactly like this, we could use EventBridge to consume it. But EventBridge is not set up for a custom source like this that's okay. um, compatible for it. So I'm going to have to go a little old school, I think, and probably just write a Lambda function to parse the JSON and just pull out what we want. Um, 
Odds are I'll probably just have it write it to S3 in some sort of like normalized format and then we can load it into a dashboard pretty easily. Um, I'll kind of see what my options are there on the Lambda output. Sweet. Yeah. I think step one is just yeah, getting yeah. it into AWS, right? So just Lambda to S3 sounds like a really clean way to start. Well, we're going to go one step farther too. Um, Lambda could be called directly, um, but because you're using basic HTTP and we might need to do a little fiddling with how that's presented, I'm probably going to have to throw together a gateway on the front, an API gateway on the front too, um, to catch that post. And then it'll just deliver the payload to Lambda for me. And that's where I do all the, the parsing and fun work there. Gotcha. So there'll be an yep. API yep. front end. Lambda will be the serverless processing of the data. Yeah. Sweet. That sounds really cool. Yeah, totally. Um, and then once Lambda's got it, uh, I say probably the first thing we could figure is maybe like, what are the big high profile events? And I could just have it tee off and maybe send emails to just, hey, there's an alert. Um, and then at the same time, have it write all the information out for the dashboard too. So you can get a little uh, kind of little event processing and then your logging pieces as well, long-term storage. Sweet. That sounds killer, dude. I think that's going to be a whole lot of fun. And then... Obviously, there's going to be a lot deeper re resources and everything on CBT Nuggets, right? Like you'll be able to watch all of this stuff in our course with way deeper, you know, scenarios. Yeah, um, this is just a precursor to it. I mean, we'll get into it and I'll have to write the Lambda function, um, which is like a giant lesson in itself. Um, but yeah, we'll have plenty of supporting content on CBT Nuggets to help us help us get it rolling. And I'll try to point it out along the way. Cool. All right. Well, um, let me know what you need from me. And uh, I guess when you've got something ready to rock and roll, you'll pass it back to me. I'll do a little bit of development and clicking and stuff on my own. And then we'll get together and see if it works. Yeah. Um, so just looking at the webhook samples real quick, um, I guess the thing that I need to know is exactly what you would want to send. It looks like you were saying there's a, quite a few optional events that could be filtered out and sent. So maybe just choose your sample selection we should start with and get me a copy of that that sample payload, and then I'll be able to... I think there's three of them that I really would want to monitor. Uh, APs went mm -hmm. down. I think that's a big one. Okay. Um, primary uplink or primary internet connection goes down, and yeah, VPN okay. and a site-to-site -site VPN goes down. Those are the three that I would like want to jump in on right away. Sweet. Yeah, that's perfect. So um, I found the webhooks thing out here on Postman. I'll, I'll cruise through it some on the side as well. But whenever you get figure out that payload piece, send it to me and I'll start working on the Lambda function. And then I'll send you back the API that you need. Uh, and then we can try to get together and test it out. Yep. Yeah. I think that sounds like a blast, dude. I think we're going to have a lot of fun doing this. I will get you those payloads <laughs> right away. Awesome, Knox, man. Looking forward to it. And we'll see you in the cloud. All right, dude. <laughs> see you, man. <laughs> so CloudBard is now developing our Lambda function that can ingest our Meraki webhook payload. You'll want to subscribe to his channel so that you can see how to actually get started developing that Lambda function for data for ingesting that data. Once he's returned it back to me, we'll do some configurations to make sure our webhooks can fire off, and then we'll test it out to make sure it really works. All right, thanks for stopping by, y'all. We'll see you in CloudBard's channel for the next one.